everybody. Darlington Farm here, just out here in the shop, and I was bad on Black Friday. I uh, bought a couple things here. One of them showed up today, so I'm going to let you see what I got. Uh, for a start, I have no affiliation with Fronius or Baker's Gas here. They just had the best deal on this welder. Uh, I went ahead and I bought the AccuPocket, which is their battery-powered welder. Uh, they were throwing in a free Lincoln Viking hood. And I suspect that this little box here is the hood. Um, cool, I got a sticker and a $25 gift card or $50 gift card, I forget which. Anyway, so we'll put that aside here. You guys don't need that. I got a red Lincoln Viking uh, 3350 here, pretty cool looking hood. I have been running the little uh, Viking 2x4C lenses and my pipeliners and my pancakes, and I really like them, so I'm kind of anxious to see how this See how this guy does in a full-size hood? Probably not something I would have bought, but it's kind of cool that they throw it in. This box is so big that this thing ships in. It's 85 pounds. I'm not going to hoist it on my table here because you guys aren't going to be able to see what's going on. So on the, in the big box here, it's got a lot of little stuff in it. Um, we'll go ahead and pull some of the little stuff out here so you can see what's actually in the box. All right, that looks like... That looks like the extent of the little stuff that was in there. So we got, I'm assuming this is the charge cord. Uh, I'm assuming this is some consumables here. Yep, we got some consumables for the TIG Torx. These are kind of strange looking. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Strange looking gas lenses. Or, uh, you know, not gas lenses, but um, call it, uh, or, you know, nozzles. There we go. I'll spit it out here in a second. And it's kind of some funky looking tungsten holders. So I don't know. I guess maybe the torch that comes with this doesn't take standard, uh, does not take standard uh, torch parts. Okay, cool. Well, this box is a little beaten up, but all right, cool. We got a flow meter. Actually, that's a nice one. Uh, single flow meter here. Oh, it's a Profax. Okay, that's cool. Something I'll actually use. Uh, you know, a lot of times you buy like packages like this and they kind of come with like weird stuff and like that's something I will actually use. So that's kind of cool. All right, what do we got in this box here? All right, we got a TIG torch. Um, we got a TIG torch here. Now I uh, got to stick weld with this guy at uh, Fabtech, but I did not get to TIG weld with it. They didn't have one of the TIG versions there. Uh, looks like it just has a remote and then it has a Looks like the normal style small dines connector, just like it's kind of has an extra O-layering on the front of it. I don't know, I'll have to play with that. And probably gonna see if I can get an adapter to where I can just put a regular TIG torch on this because um, I, I don't know how well, honestly, how well I'm gonna like this. Anyway, it's neat. We'll give it a try here. Now that's it for the little stuff in there, it looks like. Now I'm gonna try and give, not give myself a hernia getting this big box out of here. Uh, all right, I'm probably gonna cut that part out. Uh, all right, so, all right, so this uh, I'm assuming is the main uh, main deal here. This probably is the plastic case that has the welder and uh, the other stuff in it. Uh, ooh, nice looking case. I like that, uh, especially since I travel so much. Oh, it's wheeled, hell yeah. All right, anyway, so we got actually a really nice wheeled case here. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. This, uh, you know, if you work in the shop, probably not as big a deal, but you know, for the type of work I do and plan to do with this guy here, it uh, is really nice. So I'm gonna spin this guy around so you guys can see this. Oh, but yeah, I, I dig that it comes in a uh, rugged, case since I travel and this is going to live uh, you know basically in a perpetual state of motion here all right we got some stick leads looks like uh, it takes a standard small size Tweco which is cool our Dines connector not Tweco uh, decent but they're the short ones that I really detest so I'm probably not going to end up using those guys sorry Feronius but that's just you know I, uh, you know, unless they come with a 25 foot or longer, you know, stick and ground lead, I'm just not going to use them. Um, what do we got here? We got our charger, I'm assuming. So, 
yeah, beefy, really rugged looking. Damn, this looks like you could drop it out of the back of a pickup truck and it would survive. And, oh, and we got our battery welder here. And I think just the manual, and that's all we got in there. So we'll go ahead and move this guy out of the way. All right, I had to pause the video here and go move the cardboard out of my way here. But uh, here is the uh, TIG version. Looks like we got the gas line here. It looks like it takes a standard, um, huh, interesting. It looks like it just takes a standard deal on the back here. I'll have to actually look at the book and see what that goes to. Uh, real neat. See if it powers up. Uh, I like that it powers up, but this thing is shockingly lightweight. It's not really much heavier than the little Maxstar 161. And uh, yeah, I'll have to go through the manual here. I think there's a whole bunch of functions and stuff like that, but yeah, there we go. AccuPocket 15400. We'll uh, go ahead and get this guy unboxed here and uh, get it charged up and put it through its paces, but I'm really excited to give this guy a go here. Um, I'll probably split the video up here. This is going to be part one. Please uh, click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll go ahead and in part two here actually break this guy out and do some welding with it.